Welcome to our lecture online. One of the most interesting parts of the planet Venus is actually its atmosphere because it has the hmm, how should I say that? Hmm. How do you call it? You don't call it the thickest atmosphere. The densest, the most dense atmosphere in the soul. Okay, there we go. All right. All right. Ready? Go. <laughs> Click. <laughs> All right. Okay. Welcome to our lecture online. One of the most interesting things about the planet Venus is its atmosphere, because Venus has the most dense atmosphere of any planet or any moon in the solar system. Matter of fact, the density is more than 90 times the density of the atmosphere of Earth. Now, there's reasons why it is like that, and we'll get into those reasons later, but let's take a look at some of the basic properties and the contents of the atmosphere of Venus. Well, it turns out the pressure at the surface of Venus is 92 bar. A bar is roughly an atmospheric pressure, so that means it's about 92 times the atmospheric pressure on Earth. Now, on Earth, the atmospheric pressure is 14.7 pounds per square inch, which is 101,300 newtons per square meter. And if you want to convert that then, that means that the pressure on Venus is 1,350 pounds per square inch. So for every square inch of surface, which is very big, there's a force of 1,350 pounds pushing down on it. That's absolutely phenomenal. If you want to convert that to metric units, the best way to think about it is to say that the weight pushing down on a single square centimeter of surface on Venus is the equivalent weight of a 97 kilogram mass. Maybe to put that in other words is the pressure caused by the atmosphere is the same as the pressure you would feel underneath the foot of an elephant if there were another 20 elephants standing on top of the back of that first elephant. So in other words, if you had 20 elephants standing on top of one another, the pressure underneath the foot of the bottom elephant would be equal to the pressure you feel from the atmosphere on the surface of Venus. That is absolutely phenomenal. Another way of looking at it is, if you were down 3,000 feet below the surface of the ocean, the pressure at that point by the 3,000 feet of water, which is about 900 meters of water, that pressure would be the same as the pressure you would experience at the very bottom, at the surface of Venus. Absolutely phenomenal. So there's this thick, heavy atmosphere, far greater, far more dense, far greater in quantity atmosphere that we can actually even imagine compared to the Earth. Hmm. Because of that, and because of the constituents of the atmosphere, which we'll go to great length later, because the atmosphere of Venus is very good at keeping in the heat, and we're going to ex figure out why that is so, but the temperature at the surface of Venus is 460 degrees centigrade. And what's interesting is, it doesn't matter if it's day or night, and the nights are very long, and the days are very long. Matter of fact, a solar day so, for example, on Earth, a 24-hour day on the Earth lasts more than an Earth year on Venus, which means that you would be on the dark side for probably a couple hundred days, and yet the temperature would not diminish by any appreciable amount. So, with other words, North Pole, Equator, South Pole, day or night, the temperature on the surface of Venus at sea level, so to speak, if we want to call it that, is about 460 degrees centigrade, which is 860 degrees Fahrenheit, or 733 Kelvin degrees. That is just absolutely phenomenal. So, what is in this atmosphere of Venus? Well, on the Earth, the primary constituents are nitrogen and oxygen, which make up almost 100% of the atmosphere. On Venus, it's carbon dioxide with a little bit of nitrogen. Notice 96.5% of the atmosphere in Venus is carbon dioxide, 3.5% is nitrogen. You say, well, wait a minute, that adds up to 100%, so there's nothing else? Well, there's a small amount of trace amounts of stuff left in the atmosphere, and let's take a look at it. Sulfur dioxide, which is probably from, um, from volcanic eruptions, 150 parts per million, which is 0.015%, a very small amount compared to the rest, but there's still a reasonable amount if you think about it. 
Argon, which is the third most abundant gas in the atmosphere of the Earth, 70 parts per million on Venus. And then, believe it or not, there's a small amount of water vapor, H2O, 20 parts per million, which is 0.002%. Now, actually, I believe that water vapor actually plays a big part in what happens to the temperature in Venus, and we're going to explore that in later videos. So, very small amount in parts per million, but imagining that there's so much atmosphere, this is still a reasonable amount of water within the atmosphere of Venus. There's also carbon monoxide, which of course is a very poisonous gas, 17 parts per million, helium at 12 parts per million, neon at 7 parts per million, and very small trace amounts of hydrogen chloride and hydrogen fluoride. Now this, typically when you see HCl, you think of hydrochloric acid. But it is so hot on Venus that it is not in the liquid state, it is actually in vapor state or in gaseous state. So therefore we call it hydrogen chloride gas rather than, um, rather than HCl or hydrochloric acid because then it would have to be in liquid form mixed with water. So it is so hot, we don't find hydrochloric acid, but we find the molecules that would make hydrochloric acid if, there was, if the temperature was low enough and there was enough water there. So there it is, a very different mix of gases compared to what we find on the Earth. And the fact that there's so much atmosphere and the fact that it contains carbon dioxide and water vapor, that's what contains all that heat and temperatures of 460 degrees centigrade is as a direct result of the massive amount of atmosphere and the predominance of these constituents. So we're going to learn a lot more about the atmosphere, but there it is, that's the basic principle of why it's so hot on Venus and the fact that there's so much of it causes the enormous temperature and enormous pressure to exist.